Um, hi there. Um, my name is Harold Nowak. Um, I'm a retired meteorologist living in Melbourne, Australia, and the date today is the 27th of January um, 2020. Now, the title of this video is um, Collapse Conjecture, Neural Networks and the Total Stopping Time, Eliminating Chaos. Now, to generate the 3n plus 1 iterative sequence denoted by S0, S1, S2, all the way to Sn, uh, where S0 is any, any integer you use when Sn is equal to, and when Sn is even, Sn plus 1 is equal to Sn divided by 2, and when Sn is odd, Sn plus 1 equals 3 Sn plus 1 divided by 2. Then when S0 is greater than or equal to 1, the sequence goes to 1, uh, or the cycle 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, um, and this is the Collatz conjecture. Um, now, the number of steps um, that it takes from S0 to get to 1 is called the delay or the total stopping time, TST, and the value of its um, as total stopping time for one for one S0 value going to the next S0 value is chaotic in nature. Um, now here is a graph of S0 versus um, the total stopping time for S0 equals 1 to 1000. Um, you can see there it, um, there's a degree of organisation um, it looks more organized if you take the log of uh, S0. Um, but even though individual uh, TST values um, um, may be chaotic, the overall pattern um, is not chaotic. It's, it's, it's more organized. So um, you can ask the question, given the TST values for the first 1,000 um, S0 values, um, how many of the next 1,000 TST values can be predicted using only trends in the data? So that's the first 1,000 um, TST values. How can you use those to predict the next 1,000 TST values? Now, let me point out here, um, if you give a neural network the first 10,000 TST values, it will get the next and 10,000 TST values exactly right. If you dig deeper as to why, you find that it has discovered um, the 3n plus 1 sequence. So there's nothing profound in that. But um, if you give um, the neural network, say, the first uh, 1,000 TST values, there is not enough information um, for it to find the 3n plus 1 sequence. It can only find trends in the data. So that is what I did. I handed the, um, the problem um, to a neural network designed um, for predicting trends. So here's, here's the information. Um, it goes to a neural network. The input um, is the TST values for S0 equals 1 to 1,000, and the output, the TST values for S0 equals 1,001 to 2,000, that can be predicted accurately. Um, so um, what our first thing I'll show you is a copy of uh, the output um, uh, the raw data, basically, and um, that is 1,001 to 2,000 um, placed in groups of eight. And uh, there's all the information there. Um, now, what the first thing that the neural network did was it worked out that all even numbers have a TST value one greater than half of the that half of the number um, 
So therefore, and that half of the number uh, is less than 1,001. So therefore, it could predict all the even numbers um, between 1,001 and uh, 2,000. So I've, I've shown um, what it's able to predict predict in the first uh, uh, pass. Um, basically, that's it's all the even numbers. Um, the next thing um, that the neural network did was it found that 1,004 and 1,005 had the same TSC value. And so did 1,012 and 1,013. It discovered this for, by using numbers lower than 1,000. Um, so these numbers, um, they differ by eight. So we can show those in yellow uh, again on our um, output. And um, there it is there. There's, there are, that's the number of um, values um, that the neural network has discovered um, between 1001 and 2000. Um, the next thing the neural network did was um, it said that um, 1010 and 1011 also have the same TST value, as does 1026 and 1027. Um, and you can see these these go up by uh, by a factor of 16. So uh, we can put that into our output in yellow. And uh, so we've got to this stage. You can see the output there. Um, it seems to be getting more and more, more and more. Um, it seems to know more and more of the um, of the values of the TST values uh, between 1001 and 2000. Um, next, um, the neural network discovered that 1014 and 1015 have the same value, as do 1,046 and 1,047. Now, these go up by 32s. Um, and 1,038 and 1,039. And um, 1,102 and 1,103. And they go up by 64s. And they had the same value. So the neural network then added those values um, in. You can see those in yellow there, and we're starting to starting to get a lot of a lot of values. Um, next, it gets a bit it gets a bit tricky. Um, but what the neural network did was um, say a thousand and seventy three and a thousand and seventy four. Um, had the same value, and you could go up in 128s. And then 1,000 and 1,118 and that 1,119 also had the same value, and they went up in 128s. And you can see the various factors it's, it's going through there. You get, you get to the stage where S0 equals... Um, 1,122, and so do um, the, the, that has the same TST value for S0 equals 1,123, 1,124, 1,125, and 1,126, and they go up in 256 values. And um, there's lots going on there. Um, in, in the third last line there, you can see that the TST value for 1,001 is one more than 667. 1,007 is one more than 671. 1,013 is one more than 675. You can see the lower values are going up by four and the higher values are going up by six. So the neural network um, basically has factored in those, those trends as well. And this is the final um, 
output that the neural network has come up with. Um, and you can see there's there's not a hell of a lot, there's not a hell of a lot left that the neural network can't predict. Um, if we actually count up the, the number of uh, values that it can't predict, it's 147 out of 1,000. Um, so it, remember, it's only basing this on for S0 uh, uh, equals 0 to 1,000, all the TST values from there. So that's 85.3% of TST values for S0 equals 1,000 and 1 to 2,000 that can be predicted. And that is easily the majority of upcoming TST values. Now, the S0 values with unknown um, TST values are all 1 mod 8, 3 mod 8, or 7 mod 8 numbers, and they're also 0 mod 3 or 1 mod 3 numbers. 2 mod 3 numbers get eliminated. Um, now, here is a graph of all the TST values between S0 equals 1,000 to S0 S0 equals 2,000, um, and I've, I've taken the log of that there. That's that's all the values, all the TST values between 1,000 and 2,000, um, and here are all the values that the um, uh, neural network could not predict. Um, now you can see there's no real pattern to that. It's just numbers that 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 come out there so there's there's no real predictive power of um of what the um values are that couldn't be predicted um now you can extend this result to say that if you know all the tst values for s0 equals one to one million then you can predict at least 85.3% of TST values for S0 from 1 million and 1 to 2 million. Um, so we can simply say we'll always have less than 15% of TST values that cannot be predicted from past values. Um, now, what does this mean? Well, this means that future TST values are not chaotic. Um, chaotic means unpredictable. Um, and this is mainly not the case. Um, now, what people have said, they've, people have said that the 3N plus 1 sequence um, can be described as a hydra um, with tentacles going in mysterious directions. What this shows is, is that is not an accurate description. What we have is a sequence that mostly behaves in a predictable manner. And yes, mostly in a predictable manner, but the interesting part, of course, is it's not completely predictable. Um, anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching Harold Noack.